Hello, my name is Kevin, and you're watching Learning Old Dramatic Languages. In this video, we're going to talk about um, Old Low Franconian and Old Dutch in terms of labels. Now, the thing is with Old Dutch, uh, this is apparently a recent uh, label been applied to the ancestral language to uh, what we call now Dutch. Um, and the thing is with this term, I, I, I read somewhere about talking about this where it has more of a nationalistic tone to it. Where, and this is there's nothing wrong with being proud to be Dutch or this or that, but as far as historical linguistics, this presents its, itself a problem uh, because because um, before this label Old Dutch, what you had was Old Low Franconian, right? And uh, I think um, this is a better term to use because this includes West Flemish, as well as the Dutch Frankish dialects within the Netherlands. Um, I say Dutch Frankish because to make a distinction between the uh, Frisian languages in the Netherlands, as well as the Dutch Saxon uh, 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 dialects or languages there as well. Um, so Old Low Fr Fr Franconian, you know, is, is all encompassing that which is Frankish within, that is, uh, well, low Frankish, if you will, within the Netherlands and outside of the Netherlands as well, so including West Flemish. Whereas Old Dutch, it's kind of like saying, oh, okay, well, you come from us, if that makes sense, when, when really um, um, the, uh, when both parties, so to speak, you know, like both modern people come from the same ancestral people, right? And which are the Franks. They're both Franks, so quite frankly, I think um, Old Van Fr Franconian is, is an ac more accurate term than um, um, Old Dutch. You know, there's that saying, well, the, the, the past is the foreign country. Well, uh, more, more, more in this context, it's more that the past is a different country. I mean, it's the same people, but different circumstance, you know, or different, you know, or what have you, or whatnot. And so, yeah. Um, and even and just to throw in as an aside, I mean the word Dutch is is a is a doublet, if you will, of Deutsch related related to Deutsch, and, th and those two words go back to a word a uh, 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 theodish, uh, theodisk, uh, meaning um, if you will, um, uh, peopleish, uh, people peopleish. Does that make sense? If I were to tra translate it literally, but um, um, but. You know, this word is re related to theod, or if you will, that's, that's old English, theod, um, but, or, um, or what have you, um, meaning people. So language of the people, if you will. So anyway, uh, that was a short aside, but um, Old Low Franconian is more, dare I say, uh, inclusive of all the, you know, uh, dialects and languages that descend from it. Whereas Old Dutch, I guess Old Dutch can be used in a more colloquial context, like you're already talking to someone and you're only studying, you know, um, you know, uh, well, I don't know, like some people just use it uh, like colloquially, oh, to, you know, when, when, you're, when you're looking from the perspective of looking at modern, in the context of modern Dutch, but okay, colloquially I can understand, but if you want to be historically accurate or what have you, Old low, old low Franconian is where it's really at, in my humble opinion. Anyway, guys, that's it from me, essentially. So thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. And if you really like the channel, please become a patron at my Patreon page down below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.